I mentioned we would be bringing some exclusive information inside the news that Woodward is going. Let me tell you, Simon, and everybody listening and watching this lunchtime, it's our understanding that in the early years, post Sir Alex, part of the issues with recruitment at Manchester United was down to veto power struggles between managers and the recruitment department. Let me give you two examples of that, Simon. Under David Moyes, the recruitment department at United lined up Thiago Alcantara, now of Liverpool. Yeah. But the club end, ended up with Marouane Fellaini due to manager's veto. And it, this also caused problems during the Jose Mourinho era because Mourinho was told no to a defender that he wanted to bring in but it's believed the right procedures are in place now. And the club feels that they're in a much better place now with uh, with recruitment. So it seems in the first few years post Sir Alex, there were too many cooks. It's a transition and you give latitude to that. You have to give latitude to it because you've gone from one environment where you've got a manager that was more than capable of, of juggling a variety of balls, including player contracts, including player recruitment, including player discipline, including every aspect of the club, right? Not running the balance sheet, all that sort of stuff, but really the real operation. That then changes because there are not many of those guys about. So you're always going to have this cliff edge, but you, 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 you can empathise with it for a period of time. And the first appointment, everybody knew it. David Moyes couldn't resist it. But any poor bugger that took over after Alex Ferguson was always going to be in a devil's situation. Yeah. Because it was a poison chalice. Absolutely. And Fellaini, and of course, Thiago, you're looking at them and saying, OK, you're comparing a silk purse to a sow's ear in certain people's views. And that's a great example to suggest that maybe that the manager was at fault there because he had limited aspirations having managed Everton against the world and the sort of Mr. Marjoram's emporium that he had at Man United, the players he could have chosen. So I understand that argument. But when you're still making it four years down and you've still got that anchor... That's right. I, I wonder why you've got that anchor and I wonder how effective you've been in ensuring that the streamline effect... And maybe United felt that after Ferguson, we know we've got to change. All the other clubs are gearing up. They're getting more resource. They're getting better facilities. They're getting better solutions to problems. They're getting bigger teams of more competent people. They're all best in class. Sure. And maybe we've got to change as well. 